the question number 8 talks about a solid cylinder okay so we'll keep drawing the figure along with it whose height is 2.4 diameter 1.4 so let me just draw a cylinder your drawing should be good to understand this is the cylinder what is the height 2.4 yes and diameter 1.4 yes yes a conical cavity cavity have you heard the word cavity before yes yes where have you heard the word cavity in terms of teeth Isn't it? Cavity means a gap or cavity means gap hollowness. Yes. So conical cavity that means cone shaped cavity of same height and same diameter. This means that same diameter that means same circle. and same height this is the conical cavity is the logic clear yes sir this was hollowed out somebody can hollow out inwardly also i don't mind like this you must have seen some toys or flask like this isn't it to keep things now this particular hmm. part is taken out remember this thing this part is thrown out imagine hmm. this is your glass isn't it it is possible now question hmm. is asking find the total surface area so what area you can touch i can touch the outer part outer cylinder isn't it yes i can touch this outer cylinder making sense yes because cone is inside secondly what else i can touch i can bottom touch part. bottom bottom what else i can touch it is interesting now i can touch this inner part also but if it is written a hollowed out that means uh, the bottom part is open definitely let me just switch on my camera so that i can explain now this bowl is hollowed out that's why i can touch inside is the logic clear this portion yes. is hollowed out if something is hollowed out that means i can touch the inner portion if it is not hollowed out for example okay. this is closed now i cannot enter i can touch the circle the top i can touch the outside i can touch the bottom so there are three aspects okay top mm. bottom outer boundary okay now if i just open the hollow out if i throw this thing out so now the area increases now i can touch the inner portion understood now yes. i can touch the outer portion now i can tell the bottom portion neel is this thing clear yes sir uh, over here now i can touch the inner okay so what is the total surface area total surface area is curved surface area of cone can you see that Curve surface area mm -hmm. of cone because I am able to touch this part. 
Yes. Plus mm-hmm. the yeah. surface area of cylinder because I am able to touch this part. Got it? Yes. Plus area of circle. I hope my logic is clear. Hmm. Which circle is this? The bottom circle. Yes. Okay. Any doubt as of now? The no. more practically you draw this figure, more practically you try to imagine in your daily life, this chapter will be easy. If you don't draw the figure, then it will be difficult. Now, let's write down the formulas and solve it. Always remember, don't substitute values before simplifying the formula. Okay. And be careful with the radius. If there are two radius and they are different radius, then it should be one capital R, one small r. But right now, they are of the same height and same radius. Do you remember the question? They were saying same height, same radius. Yes. We don't have to worry about R and H. There are some portions where you have to be uh, have to worry about it. Now, CSA of cone. Can you tell me, Kana, what is the CSA of cone? Pi R L. Very good. Pi R L. Uh, sonnet. CSA of cylinder. Oh. Uh... Of cylinder, it's two pi r h. Two pi r h, and this is pi r square. Got it? So anything common? I guess pi r is common. Yes. You don't have to do this step, but these steps help me in reducing my calculation. L plus two times h plus r. Isn't it? Yes. Yes. So in this scenario, I know the value of pi, I know the value of r, I know the value of h, I know the value of r. I don't know the value of l. So basically, I need to calculate the value of l first of all. L square equals to r square plus h square. We know this thing. Yes. Yes. So quickly help me out. Uh, R is 0 0.7 square plus 2.4 square. If the link gets over, I'll send you another link. And this question will be your homework after that. Got it? Okay. Yes. You can take a screenshot. 0. 0.7 into 0. 0.7, 0. 0.49. Two point four into two point four five point seven six six point two five, which would be uh, two point five. Yes, two point five. So I got two point five now. Please substitute and finish your question. I guess pi value we have to take 22 by 7 if they have not mentioned anything. Yes. In the beginning yes. of the question, they have told us 22 by 7. Can you see that? Yes. Now, over here, 22 by 7. Radius 0. 0.7. I would like to convert this into fraction. 0. 0.7 means 7 upon 10. 2.5. Plus 